Howdy, and welcome to Gudanka Workshop, the journal video series that's created to inspire, entertain, and encourage you to celebrate your story. This workshop is brought to you for free because of your support and purchase of Gudanka.com's products, which eliminate writer's block and help you document what makes you jump out of bed in the morning. Thank you for your continued support, folks. Hey guys, I'm your host, Katie Clemens, the story catcher and journal crafter behind Gadanka.com, and this is episode five, gratitude journaling. Okay, so if you were to ask me, Katie, what is the greatest benefit you've ever gotten out of journaling? My answer would simply be, it's made me more aware. It's made me more grateful and more appreciative of the big things in my life, and of course, just the little tiny details and everyday moments. When I journal, I pause to write about those things, and I pause to even recognize or acknowledge those things. And sometimes in the busyness of life, it's really easy to bypass those types of things. We don't mean to, but it just happens. So I can't give you more time, but I can help you use the time you have to journal more effectively. And today, we're going to start with specifically focusing on gratitude journaling. And I wanted to give you a concrete example of how gratitude journaling hasn't just helped me, but really touched some members of my family. So this is the little things. It is the gratitude journal at Gadanka. And last year when my grandmother wasn't doing very well, it was really easy for her to focus on all the negative things in her life. You know, that uh, her health wasn't as good, her memory wasn't as good. I just, you know, the little things were starting to really drive her crazy. So my aunt said, okay, let's get Katie's The Little Things Journal. And together, we're going to focus on the beautiful things in our lives. So each morning, my grandmother and my aunt would sit down and they would write down the answer to one of these writing prompts. So let's think about what we're grateful for, my aunt would say. Peeking through the window at, and my grandmother would think of an answer. Then my aunt would write it down. And then they would talk about it. The next day, a lovely bit of, my grandma would think of the answer, my aunt would write it, and they'd talk about it. And this went on and on until they had a beautiful journal full of things that my grandmother was really happy about. And now if you would like to take on this project, I think a really cool idea also would be to sit down at the dinner table, pull out the journal and say, okay, everybody, we're focusing on something we're grateful for today. Read one of these little prompts and see what everybody says. Now let's dive into a full journal entry that lists the things we're grateful for. And I want to start with using this quotation. It's by Sarah Van Brethnock. It says, be grateful for the home you have, knowing that at this moment, all you have is all you need. Now, if you'd like to print off this quotation, I do have a PDF for you that has it and also one by William Arthur. William writes, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Powerful thoughts, aren't they? It's funny though, they're powerful, but yet they're just so simple. So when I look at this one right here and I start thinking about the home I have and how it's all I need, I start thinking, okay, what are the grateful things about my home? And of course, they're the really big things in our lives. Like, you know, the people and the ones we love. And then there are the little things, uh, you know, the, the fresh baked muffins, the uh, fresh pair of socks. So as I took this quotation, I printed it off, cut out my journal pages, and here's what I wrote. I'm grateful for so many things about our little home and while I certainly can't name every detail in every moment, these stand out in my mind today. So I wrote that there. And then in the lower half, I just started listing all of these little moments that I remembered and that I was grateful for. And so they were things like celebrating the day that Nicholas came home when he was born, or you know, welcoming the hugs from our family as they came to visit. So many gratitudes in our homes exceed just the, you know, the four walls and the roof and the, and the flooring. So I want you to grab a journal page. You can use this quotation if you want, or just a blank page and start listing all of those little moments that come to mind 
when you're thinking about how grateful you are for your home. And then another one you could do, I think I'll do this one as soon as I finish the video, is the quotation by William Arthur. So what else are you grateful for? It's amazing how we can just list things that we're grateful for and the list can just keep going and going and going, especially when we think of specific topics. So when you read this quotation, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. What do you think? I start thinking of the people and the moments that I've shared with them. So that's probably what I would use this quotation to list. So as you get ready to stick this quotation into your journal, I just want to give you a few quick little ideas for how you can do it. So right here, this is the Christmas journal, Tis the Season. And I'm going to be using this journal uh, in a couple of weeks to start documenting our Christmas here at home. And then uh, the rings are extra large, so I can be sticking all of our Christmas cards and journals that we receive from people inside the journal. So I open those and I just want to show you how you can use writing prompts of all sorts of different sizes to stick into your journals. Um, and so, you know, there's always these uh, different colored papers and pattern papers in, in the Gedanka journals that you can paste this or you can paste this, you know, into any journal. And then you can maybe journal around this, just leave it like it is, or paste photos, paste pages of more prompts. Sometimes it isn't all about the embellishing. It's really about getting those details. And of course, like today, getting those gratitudes in. Um, I'm going to be sticking mine into the she journal that I've been putting all of our current projects into. So there we go. So with that, I have only one question for you. What are you grateful for? I'd love to see what you do. Please use the hashtag my Gedanka journal, and I will plan on seeing you next week for our next Gedanka workshop. Thank you and have a great week, everyone. Bye.